Hi everyone, and welcome back to Manda T and Me, and welcome back to a new game. Uh, today we're going to be starting a game called Strange Horticulture. Yes, this is the second alchemy simulator we are playing. Um, yeah, I received this as a gift for my birthday from my partner who thought that there wasn't enough alchemy on the channel recently. Um, I don't know how it saves, I don't know how it plays, um, this is the first time I'm turning it on, so this will be an adventure for all of us. Alrighty guys, uh, grab something cozy or refreshing and let's get into the game. Hmm. Let's see if subtitles are turned on. That would be nice. Um, okay. Uh, let's turn auto labeling on for now. If it's too much, we'll, you know, yeah. And, okay, we can mess with that later if we need to. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out at the upper floors so that the neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or more likely, exchange unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings of Undermere that stands alone. Plants, you may have noticed, need light, and light is in short supply at street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after death. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plants that he stocked have their uses after all. This game features some small text. If you're having difficulty reading, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Oh, that's nice. So day one, Friday. Whoa, wow, it does work. I like that. That looks good. I have found it. An excerpt on the elusive wandering view. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the gilded dendra that might be of interest. Simone, P.S. Give Hellbor a good scratch behind the ears for me. Oh, the kitty's name must be Hellbor. Um, alright. Alright. Oh. Drag a plant here to take a closer look. Smooth, waxy leaves. Okay. Ooh. It's pungent, but not unpleasant. The bulb is soft yellow, the leaves are waxy. It smells of nothing I can detect. It smells strongly of soured milk, bad enough to make my eyes water. Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, undersides are somewhat sharp. Red spores protrude from the caps. Smells faintly of wood smoke. Feels like rough glass paper. Small delicate flowers. A single pink flower that smells pleasant. Blue flowers, light airy scent. It has a sweet scent, like strawberry dipped in honey. The leaves are coarse to the touch. The flowers are red with a sweet scent. Oh, there's more. Cream colored flowers, they smell wonderful. Mm. 
It has a scent that scratches the back of my throat. I think we found something. The vein leaves up a waxy finish. That looks like a bromeliad. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. What is this? Will to explore. I have neither the time nor the inclination. You can water your plants using the water and clam to earn will to explore. looks like an orchid. My knowledge of plants is not in depth or anything. Oh, there's more. I know a little bit, just not a lot. Okay. The smell is faintly off-putting but not overpowering. The flowers are soft purple with sweet scent. Maybe sweet pea? Purple flowers have a light buttery scent. This looks like rosemary. Small red berries. I don't think it is because rosemary doesn't have berries. Raising dead. I mm. Mm. drag items from here onto your desk. Strange book of plants. This encyclopedia can be, be used as a reference to help identify plants. Note that where I have included sketches, these are not always intended as an aid for, to identification. Often the description will be more useful to you. Remember to take extra care when dealing with poisonous plants. I accept no responsibility should injury or death occur as a result of misusing this encyclopedia. Alright, Bishop's Parasol. A mushroom found in a dark damp place feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surroundings in darkness. Um, the gills on the underside of the mushroom seep a milky fluid that can be consumed as a treatment for stomach pains. A spongy mushrooms with potent abilities, only safe to consume in small quantity. Um, grants great strength for short periods at the expense of severe fatigue once the effect is worn off. Oh, that's farmer's worry. Can't type today. Okay, farmers worry. But there might be more plants, too. say anything of it stinking though. Fox button. Forest 
camphory. A strong smelling bulb of this plant has a powerful saporific effect, making it common ingredients in sleeping draughts. The camphor produces a beautiful, rounded, dark blue cluster made up of many small flowers. They smell pleasant. They smell they powerful. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have labeled this other one yet. Candy root, Harlequin blue, Mary's breath, Lemon dandy, Run, Mellow glow, Winter boar. Known as blue hour, aloe, or blue winter after its cool blue gray flowers. Winter boar is a handy plant often found growing extreme cold. Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Backboro. Keep it a secret. Mm. Archive. Nothing yet. Okay. I don't, okay, I'm not actually sure what I'm doing. I must have walked past the shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day, surrounded by plants. I came here because I have an unusual request. At night I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly, coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity got the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. St. John's Poppy. There we go. Vibrant, the vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a draught that can greatly improve the imbiber's hearing. The flowers of the St. John's poppy are bright red with yellow centers. identified. Ah, we've unlocked the achievement beginnings. Collect. Clavillium. According to legend, clavillium can be used to open any lock no matter how complex or secure. The heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant the nickname Love Lock. Hmm. 
don't know if I'm doing it right, but here we are. Good morning. Bloody awful weather out there today. Good place for the plants, huh? I got a letter for you. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger, just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul in that cursed place. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the wood, I sat and stared at a bright flower and tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in this world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Hmm. Something's got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way round down through the back barrow. I never did trust the sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now, and I've brought Fennet from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Lemon dandy. Its curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to a peeled lemon rind. Okay, um, I think it's this. Among several uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. Well, it's got curly leaves. Yay! New plant acquired! My dreams are becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her, a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape, and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of an expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing. But not the joyous laughter of a child, the sickly horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. The past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. Forest camp free. A strong smelling bulb of this the strong smelling bulb of this plant has a okay produces beautiful rounded dark blue cluster made of many smaller flowers. So I think it's at the end of the day. Nora Butterfield. Got any wandering boo? Boo? That always reminds me of, oh, what's his name? That old hermit inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the boo, you, if you've got it. I don't have any entry for wandering boo in my plant book yet. Simone mentioned something about it in her note. I should visit the library in Ambleside. favorite haunts. 
Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my passion for unusual plants. Today she is grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she found. Gilded Dendra. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to Dendra's miasma, a sure and painful way to die. The poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Wandering view. So called because this fungus can move slowly in the dark, has been known to cover distances of up to several meters in a single night. The gills on the underside of this mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They are quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingerbane. Oh, well. Now, if I remember correctly, River. It started when she found something, something that she was not meant to find, a book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Alright guys, well I think the end of day one is a great place to stop this. Um, oh, I think I'm going to love this game and I think you guys are too. So, but anyway, guys, as always, take care and happy sipping. <laughs>